why would ingesting collagen be selectively trafficked to the collagen in our skin? Taking collagen protein for connective tissue really doesn't seem to do much. And it, honestly, I'm not surprised. Collagen, the body's most abundant protein, naturally declines with age, impacting skin elasticity and joint health. Collagen supplements, typically sold as hydrolyzed peptides, claim to combat these effects, improving skin hydration, elasticity, and reducing joint pain. Proponents of collagen point to studies showing benefits confirming significant skin improvements. Critics, however, argue that these effects are overstated due to biased, industry-funded research. They also highlight collagen's limited nutritional value compared to other proteins. Let's hear from two experts with opposing views. Nutrition scientist Dr. Lane Norton questions collagen's effectiveness, citing its digestion into basic amino acids unlikely to specifically enhance skin or joints. So basically what you start out with is this big globular protein that gets unfolded and chopped up into its individual amino acids. And so what you actually end up seeing in your bloodstream, what your body sees, is individual amino acids. So unless there is an individual amino acid in collagen protein that's stimulating connective tissue synthesis, it's unlikely that it's gonna have a big effect. Neuroscientist and podcaster Andrew Huberman notes clinical studies that indicate collagen supplementation can enhance skin elasticity and appearance, suggesting unique benefits beyond just basic nutrition. When you look at studies, including meta-analyses of studies where people supplement with collagen powders, and these powders typically come from fish or tender, any number of different sources, and then measures are taken as to skin appearance, skin elasticity. There are a bunch of measures that can be done in humans in the laboratory to do this. You often will find studies that show statistically significant improvements in collagen composition and skin appearance, and even the appearance of reduction in wrinkles and so forth. So this is an interesting exception where the ingestion of a particular protein that now naturally exists in abundance in certain tissues, such as skin, but also other tissues like tendon, ligaments, etc., seems to be assisting in either the repair and rejuvenation of collagen, perhaps some other aspect of collagen synthesis that leads to improvements in collagen composition and the appearance of skin in humans. As research evolves, collagen's true value continues to spark debate. 